Happy New Year. I, uh, today I want to talk about two things that are kind of bothering me in the female fitness industry. One is female fitness magazines, the other is a growing number of women that are training like dudes. Okay? Both of these phenomena, phenomena <laughs> are going to lead to disappointing fitness results and ultimately might lead someone to give up. And I don't want you to give up because there are so many tools we have in strength training to create the body of your dreams, like literally the body of your dreams. Now I'm, I'm talking, my, my women, my people, I'm talking to ladies over 30. Um, if you're under 30, you can still get by with like, you know, soft and cute and perky and all that good stuff. But once you get past 30, you know, mother nature or gravity or something sets in. And unless we're strength training, we'll either A, get fatter, put on body fat, eating and doing the exact same thing because our muscle mass has started to decline. Or two, just we start to sag because um, we don't have enough muscle in the desired areas. Um, female fitness magazines, even the one, this one that has the name, the word muscle in it, that's a hint. I've been like amazed in like an appalled way that the nutrition, meal plans, or like the, the fitness, the workouts, like nothing, any competitor, any female fitness mom, anyone could ever achieve a look doing, okay, this is a general statement, but there's a lot of that kind of false information, very misleading. And part of it, you have to recognize, even the ones that are supposedly endorsed by IFBB, Bikini Pro, so-and-so, could be false. And why? Because so-and-so is protecting her trade secrets. So do take those female fitness magazines with a grain of salt or just toss them all together. I personally read more of the male fitness or muscle um, magazines simply because the, the research or the the uh, integrity of the information is much higher. Understand that strength training, men and women, and principles are the same. Now, desired physique is different. So this is where women training like dudes are gonna be unhappy with their ultimate result. Whether this is a male trainer that's training you just like he trained himself, or you're in a gender kind of neutral class or group format where men and women are being trained simultaneously, so you're gonna get a little mixture of both. And you're probably not going to like the result. You know, specifically, I think about, like I can almost, if someone walks in my studio, I can assess by the way they do an overhead press or the way they look, whether they've done CrossFit before. And that's not everybody, but I can pretty much, I'm, I've been 100% accurate in it, let's just say that. And the way I can tell is like their form in the overhead press is to me a little bit dangerous, like a power lift where they like, pull their arms back, and they have like overdeveloped um, traps. Now, a guy is always looking for size. So they're looking to overdevelop their traps, so they have a big neck, you know, big arms, big biceps, big quadriceps, kind of like the exact opposite of what most women want. Um, so we have to think about that. The strength training is our sculpting tool. It's not pulsing in bars, it's none of that. I mean, pulsing is great for developing mind-muscle um, connection, but it's not gonna give you the ass you want. It really isn't. So you need to strength train, um, but you need to do so with some intelligence as to what you're trying to achieve. It does not mean you, you can't do these gender neutral classes. I mean, I offer body pump here and it's choreographed for both men and women. Um, body pump is an hour long class. It's, you're probably not gonna put up much muscle anyways. It's more of a cardio format when you're doing it like that, more muscular endurance. Make a little tone, especially in the beginning, if you've never done something like that before, but over time it's harder and harder to uh, really put on any muscle, unless you've got really good gen genetics and, uh, and your nutrition's like spot on. But for the most of us, like body pump is a way to get a little muscle activation while burning a lot of calories. And outside of that, um, doing um, more strategic strength training relative to the body parts we want to develop. So for women, I think about shoulders, I think about, you know, upper body, I think about shoulders, and I think about triceps. A little bit of back, because it's not a muscle that, like, it's not muscles that, like, pop out a lot or give us a lot of size, it just looks, like, tight and sexy. So when you're doing shoulders, for example, um, a classic exercise that all the king competitors do is a side raise. It's great for building a little shoulder muscle here, give us more of that. Um, balance and hourglass look that we're hoping to achieve. But form is king, of course, or queen, I should say. And when we're doing a side raise, we don't want to use our traps. We don't want to be scrunching our shoulders. We don't want our, our um, 
shoulders rounded. Again, other muscles will help out more, which we don't want. We want to really try and isolate as much as we can, leading through the elbow and feeling it through the side of the shoulder. Really focus where you're feeling it. This becomes even more important when we start doing um, compound exercises like an upright row. So an upright row, if I'm holding a bar, my elbows lead, bar comes underneath my chest and down. I feel this a lot through the side of my shoulder. If I had bad form, I started using my traps, or if the weight was too heavy for me, I would start using my traps more to pull the bar up. Or sometimes you see people that are trying to get that bar so high, or they have bad form, and they, they're using their biceps really to do this. And they might hurt their wrists in the process because their wrists are getting all bent. So be deliberate with what you're training, how you're training, <laughs> who you're training with, and how you're doing it so that you can actually sculpt the body you want. You're not gonna look like a dude. It's hard to do anyways, but you're not gonna look more like a dude. <laughs> and, um, and you are strength training. Very important. Have a great week.